Jurassic World Evolution 2 received its final update almost four months ago. There has been no work happening behind the scenes in that time. The game is done. And Frontier has moved on to Jurassic World Evolution 3, which will release at some point between June 1st, 2025 and May 31st, 2026. So if you haven't gotten Jurassic World Evolution 2 or you don't have all DLCs yet, is this game still worth spending your money on? Obviously, only you can answer that for yourself, but if you're struggling with that decision, maybe I can help by sharing my take on it. For starters, if you skipped on getting Jurassic World Evolution 2 so far because you have the first game or the sequel didn't look that great to you at launch, Jurassic World Evolution 2 has improved massively through free updates along with every DLC. It's a much more creative park builder than the first game, so if you are a sandbox builder, you are going to enjoy the extra options in the sequel much more than the limitations of the original, not to mention that the added square maps give us much more room to build than any map we've had before. And restrictions and issues that held the game back at launch have been fixed. You no longer have to complete any of the game modes to get access to all species in Sandbox, the busy work of managing the scientists can be disabled, and basic but much needed settings that were inexplicably missing at launch, like no combat and infinite feeders, have been added. While much more limited than a modular building game like Planet Zoo or Prehistoric Kingdom, I actually think that Jurassic World Evolution 2 being a low threshold kind of game is one of its major strengths. It's really easy and really quick to build an awesome park in this game. And I have a lot of building tips and tricks on the channel, including a video on game-changing glitches to make even better parks that I hope show you that a lot is possible in this game that you might not even expect. If you do have the game and you're not sure if you should get the DLCs that you don't have yet, I'd recommend at least getting the two expansions if you don't have those. Because in my opinion, they add the most valuable content and add to the replayability of the game in a way that a dinosaur pack just doesn't. The dinosaur packs I'd say you could skip on unless one of them has like your all-time favorite species or something. So the game has my endorsement, obviously. But do I still recommend it to buy it now, knowing that a new version of the game is being worked on and is likely to release around the same time as the movie next year? Doesn't it make more sense to hold out until then and get that game instead? We currently have no idea what the next game will be like other than that it is a Jurassic-themed creative management simulator. While we all hope that Jurassic World Evolution 3 or whatever it will be called, will be a massive improvement over the game we currently have, there are sadly no guarantees for that. Not to mention that even if the game does hopefully live up to expectations and is, at least on paper, a step up, doesn't mean you'll necessarily like it more. A better game isn't always a game you like better. For example, Prehistoric Kingdom, once complete, is arguably a better game than what Jurassic World Evolution 2 is. The game is still very much a work in progress currently, but what they have planned is in-depth park management, realistic behaviors for their expansive and varied roster of prehistoric creatures, and basically limitless creative tools, the latter already mostly in place. But I don't personally like it more than I do Jurassic World Evolution 2. If you have no interest in playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 because it doesn't live up to what you want from a dinosaur park builder, then waiting for the next one and hoping that that one will live up to your expectations is an obvious choice. But if you do want to play Jurassic World Evolution 2 and you decide to hold out and wait until the third game because it might be better and meet more of your preferences, then that's a gamble that could pay off really well or you're waiting only to be disappointed. So keep that in mind. More importantly though, even if Jurassic World Evolution 3 proves to be worth the wait, it is still a pretty long wait. We don't have a release date yet since the game hasn't even been officially announced yet. We just know that the third game is coming because Frontier had to make that information publicly available for their shareholders. As part of that information, we have a release window of a year, financial year 2026, which runs from June 1st, 2025 to May 31st, 2026. Confusing, I know. What that means is that at the 
earliest, Jurassic World Evolution 3 comes out in 9 months, and at the latest, in 21 months. Now, I think close to that 9 month time frame is most likely, so the launch of the game goes hand in hand with the premiere of the new movie in July 2025, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the news for both. But that's still a 9 month wait, which means you can get 9 months worth of gaming out of the current version if you get that today. The game is definitely not cheap at 60 bucks, so getting it when it goes on sale would be better. But I personally still think you can get your money's worth out of it. At this point, there is so much content out there on the game that I think you know before buying it if you're gonna enjoy it. If you've seen the content and you think, that game looks right up my alley, I really don't think it's wasteful to get it now, with a replacement possibly coming in 9 months. I always compare it to movie tickets. I'll pay anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks to see a movie, with no guarantee that I'll end up liking it, because trailers can be misleading as heck. But that's 10 to 20 bucks for 2 hours of entertainment. So I don't think paying 60 bucks for a game that I'll probably like, based on everything I've already seen, that I can play as much as I want, and that won't be usurped by something better for at least 9 months. And the reality is, you don't have to replace Jurassic World Evolution 2 with Jurassic World Evolution 3 the day it launches. If you're enjoying Jurassic World Evolution 2, you might as well hold off on buying the third game for a little bit. Wait until it gets its first update with improvements and bug fixes, for example. Or wait until obsessed YouTubers like myself have made so much content on the game that you know for sure exactly what you're getting with that game and whether you're gonna like it or not. It's not like Jurassic World Evolution 2 will stop working as soon as the third game launches. So if you've been watching my park building videos thinking to yourself, hey, that game looks fun, then I really don't think you're going to regret getting it this late. Just go into it accepting that you're buying a version of the game that is no longer getting updated and not getting any new content. Of course, that is just my perspective on the matter. And very importantly, I am not denying that it is an expensive game. So it depends on whether you can spend that kind of money. If money is tight for you as it is for most people, and you're pretty confident you're gonna want to buy Jurassic World Evolution 3 when it comes out, then I would say save your money for that. If it's a case of, I can either buy Jurassic World Evolution 2 right now, or Jurassic World Evolution 3 next year, but not both, then waiting is going to be the safest bet, and you can always decide later to get Jurassic World Evolution 2 instead of Jurassic World Evolution 3 if the latter doesn't make the wanted improvements. If you were struggling with this decision, I hope this video helped. Check out the rest of the channel for build tips and more, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the news about Jurassic World Evolution 3 and Jurassic World Rebirth. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, let me know down below if you have the game or not, because it always surprises me how many people comment that they watch my channel and don't actually have the game.